It's time for another podcast of the prodigal son. You know, my prayers come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. And these are my prayers for this entire world. That this world would have their eyes opened to God's love, His mercy, His grace, and His goodness. The Ephesians, the first chapter in the fifth, starting with the 15th verse, it says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I also I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. When I think of all this, this is Ephesians 3, 14, starting with the 14th verse. It says, when I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong, and you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I... I want to go ahead and start this morning. I want to get into what God has given me. You know, I want you to uh, try to give you something to read. Read the read the uh, the eighteenth and the nineteenth chapter of First Kings, and read about Elijah and what he went through. We want to talk about that today. And uh, first, I want to go to the Lord in prayer and ask Him to touch, guide, and direct in this podcast. Father, I thank You and I praise You, Lord, for the truth that You have given us in Your Word. Lord, I thank You that we can count on Your Word to be true. We can count on Your Word to be the, what we need in our lives to succeed to be strong in you, to have victory over all adversaries that comes against us. Father, I thank you and I praise you for all you're doing, all you have done, and all you are going to do. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. I'm going to take one scripture out of this this uh, 19th verse of, or 19th chapter of 1 Kings. This is 1 Kings 19, 18. And it says, Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which shall, uh, with, which hath not kissed him. You know, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to just try to recap this. In the 18th chapter of, of uh, First Kings, Elijah goes out and they have a contest between the prophets of Baal and him. And, and you know the story. 
And uh, our our assistant pastor's daughter brought up this story Sunday, and it just came to my mind this morning of what what Elijah done after all this took place. But anyway, uh, Elijah told him said said uh, take a take a bull uh, uh, and 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 kill it and and lay it on the fire and and uh, or lay it on the altar and and who's ever who's ever. Uh, God sends forth fire and consumes that that uh that offering. That's that's who we're going to. That's the God we're going to serve. And the the prophets of Baal, they go and they 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 put this this they cut this animal up and put it up on the altar and they you know they 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 wait and they pray and they cut themselves and they just they 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 do all sorts of things. But Baal never sends fire. And they tear down this altar. Well, Elijah builds back the altar, and he and he lays his animal on there, and he digs a trench around it, and he and he and he pours pours water all over the all over the wood and all over the animal that it, the, so much water that it fills the the trench up. Now this is a man of faith. You know, he stood before these people and said, "You know, who's ever God sends forth fire." Well, it's who we're going to serve. And he stood in faith, believing that God was going to do this. And after he had done all this, God sent down fire and, and he consumed it all. You consumed the sacrifice and even licked up the water, the Bible says, and, and just just cleaned it all up. And, and you know, and Elijah went and he killed all the prophets of Baal and, and, and he cleaned them out. Well, on down in that chapter and on into the 19th chapter, Jezebel gets to, gets to, uh, heard what he done. And, and, and she says, I'm going to kill you in so many words. And this man of, and this man of God, this prophet, this, this, this chosen man, Hears the word of one woman and flees for his life. And he gets out into a cave. And if you you can read this whole story, he goes into this cave and and he tells God, he said, I'm the only one. I'm the only one that is out here serving you. He was feeling sorry for himself. He was feeling sorry for for being in the position that he was in. He I guess he thought that he was the only person in the world that was uh going through persecution. But that 18th verse of the 19th chapter come to mind this morning. I looked it up and read it. It says, "Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed, bowed to Baal." And every mouth which hath, which hath not kissed him. Now, I'm going to look this up in the New Living. See, we may get in a position that we feel like we're all alone. And I want you to understand something. That, you know, I, I say this a lot. The Lord will never leave you, never forsake you. He'll but go with you always, into, even to the end of the world. And uh, I've said that, said that a lot. But I want you to also understand that God has people in this world that are doing the same thing you're doing. And they may be putting up with some things in their life but they haven't bowed to the powers that comes against them and God don't want you to either the the new living translation says yet I will preserve 7000 others in Israel who have never bowed down to Baal or kissed him I want to go to the the 91st psalm In the second verse, and this is the new living. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness 
in the evening. Let me read that in the in the King James Version. See, people, I want what I want you to understand is, is that you to show to show forth long suffering kindness in the morning, and thy faithfulness every night. God is faithful. He is our fortress. I'm sorry, I read the wrong verse. It's ninety one two. Not ninety two two. I read ninety two two. Ninety one Psalm ninety one two says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Now let's read that one in the uh New Living Translation. It says, this I declare about the Lord. He alone is my fort, my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust in him. Now, I've, if there's one thing that I do on this podcast is urge you to believe God, to trust in God, to stand in his goodness and his mercy and his grace. But I also want you to understand that these there are other people out here in this world that God wants you to be part of them, to be part of that group that draws strength from each other. How do they draw strength from each other? They draw strength from each other by their faith. And they stand Elijah stood in that cave after he had saw God be faithful, faithful to do what he needed to do to, to, to back Elijah up. He, he, he stood and watched fire fall down from heaven and consume the sacrifice that he had put out to do just that. And, but yet... When, when Jezebel came against him, he lost it and ran, ran, didn't know where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was that, that it's, this is so sad to see a, a man that has, had been so strong in, in, in God just the chapter before. I don't know how long, but just a short time before that. To come unglued at the seams when and when ad, when and adversity come against him, I want you to understand something. You're not alone in this world. God has a a, a church for you, a group of people that you can draw strength from, that stand on this word that I'm talking about today. I want you to understand something, that there are people in this world, like-minded people, that, that believe the Word of God, stand on the Word of God, and, and will go out of their way to help you do the same thing. And, and God wants you to understand you're not alone in this world. You know, I, I preach a lot about him and about what he is doing and, and, and will do for you. But, but he laid on my heart to tell you today, there's people, flesh and blood people in this world that have never bowed their knee to the adversity that you're having to go against in your life today. You know, the Bible talks about it, that the temptations of man are, are common to all men. And I'll put that scripture in the notes. But all things that people come against, that, that come against you, are common to man. And, and there are like-minded people out here in this world that know what you're going through, that know how to overcome it. And they, they'll all point you to God's Word. That's why I'm so adamant to let you know that there is, there is churches out here that I will make sure and find you a church 
if you don't have a home church for you to get into, to be able to fellowship with people that believe God's word. I'm going to tell you something. A, 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 A good church, a faith building church, Bible believing church is is a oh it's a big help when it comes to to coming to a type, to a point in your life that you think wow if I wasn't here I don't know if I'd have made it through that I told my pastor that here a while back I said pastor if I hadn't have came over here and got in with this, 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 this group of people that believed the Bible, believed God, and I could draw from strength from them as well as I do God's Word, I'd have been backslid again. Now, this is a couple of years ago I told him that because I, I, I was to the point that, you know, I was in a place that they'd fight you over their salvation but then everything else was a roll of the dice. Maybe he will. Maybe, maybe God will. Maybe God won't. We don't know. But I come to a place in my life that I knew there was more to, to a Christian life than what I had. And, and, <laughs> and I've just got stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger every day since then. Like I told you, I think it was yesterday or the day before. You know, it's been five years since I started on this journey. And just like Elijah, I've had some some discouraging moments and had some times that I wish, you know, I never, I didn't have to go through them, but I did. And I've come to find out that, that not only is God faithful, but there's people out here that will stand with you and, and, and stand in, in, in the faith of God, stand and fight with you against those adversaries. Why? Because they've overcome them already. They've overcome all that doubt, fear, and unbelief that's been sown into your, into your heart by religion and, and people that don't believe anything. Elijah had just seen a, 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 a something that most people have never seen in their life. I don't know anybody that has. <laughs> I've never even heard a story that is as, 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 as great as what Elijah saw, and he saw that with his own eyes. But yet not too far after that, he's standing in the cave, hiding, hiding, hiding from a woman, standing in a cave. He ran and hid because a woman told him that she was going to kill him. And he was, he was so distraught and feeling so sorry for himself that he stood and had the nerve to say, God, I'm the only one. I'm the only one doing anything. And God straightened him out. He said, son, I've got 7,000 that have never bowed a knee to Baal. I want you to understand that. There is people out there in this world that will stand with you in your quest to believe God's word above all opinion. They're all over this world. I had no idea there were so many people that believed the Word of God until I started on this journey and started getting with, the, with churches and, 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 and seeing all the people that are spread out all over this world, not only in the United States, but all over this planet that will stand and believe God's Word above all opinion, stand in faith, stand in Him. Glory to God. Find that place. Let me help you find that place that you can get in and stand with the people that believe God, that believe what God says is true above all opinion. But you first, if you've never been born again, you first have to be born again. 
Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Glory to God. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be born into the family of God. Confess Jesus Christ as Lord of your life. Confess Him. Believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, and you shall be saved. You will be saved. That's what the book says. And then get in God's Word and stand on it. Believe it. Consume it. Not only in in church services, but daily. Consume it daily. Consume God's Word daily and wash all that doubt and unbelief out of your out of your system. Get in touch with me. Get in touch with me and let and let me help you find you a good faith building, Bible believing church for you to get into. This ain't just about the prodigal son ministry. This is about you and getting you in a place that you can be fed and strengthened strengthened get in a church that you can get you can work in and 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 will will help you to build your relationship and for so you can serve the lord in his kingdom you know i'm an usher at our church i i i volunteer all that i can just to just to 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 work in God's kingdom to do my part God wants you to understand that that he has a place for you you may not be a minister you may not be anything like that but he's got a place for you to to hold the door for somebody to smile and greet them to help find a seat for somebody to take up an offering to, 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 to do whatever they need done, to sweep the floor, clean the bathrooms. You know, we, we go and help people in the church. They, they paint. There's people in our church that paint and, and clean, and uh, it's just it's unreal how people, you know, just pitch in to help. God has a place for every one of us. You're not alone in what you're going against today. I want you to understand that. Not only is God standing there, willing and able to help you through it, but there are people that he has prepared and brought through the same thing that you're going through right now that he wants more than anything to put in your life to allow you to be strengthened through them. That's what a church is about, to be fed, to be strengthened, to be guided and directed not only by the pastor but by the members, the members that have went through things that you you're going through right now that can help you. All you got to do is ask. Find you a church. Get in with these people, just like Elijah was thinking that he was by this. You know, on, on, the only one that has ever went through something like that. But God told him, he said, I've got 7,000 that's never bowed a knee to Baal. And you don't have to either. Glory to God. God's got people out there that will stand with you. I assure you of that. Keep believing him. Keep standing on his word. If you're not born again, be born again. Get in this, get in this thing. Start your, start your journey through the door of salvation, and that is through accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, confessing Him as Lord of your life, believing that God raised Him from the dead to justify you. Glory to God. Make Jesus Lord of your life, and then find you a place to get in to the like-minded people that, that will stand with you and believe God just like I'm telling you to believe him today. Glory to God. Get in somewhere where God can use you, and not only use you, but strengthen you through that group of people. Glory to God.
Get in somewhere. Believe God's word above all opinion and watch him change your life forever. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. You know, like I said, it is, uh, it's a blessing. It is a blessing to have a church of like-minded people that I can go to and, 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 and know that they'll stand with me in faith, believing with me about the things that I'm going through in life. You're not alone out here. I promise you that. And, and if you'll get in touch with us, go to our website at the-prodigalson.com. I will do my best. I promise you, I will do my best to find you a church close to you that you can go to and attend and, and be led and fed the Word of God. And you can find strength in that group of people. They're out there. I had no idea that I had a church in my hometown that believed God's word above all opinion. But there's one here. There's three or four here now that that teach that you can stand on God's word and believe it. And I thank God for that. He's, he's, he's opened up doors all over this nation of, by, of churches that are standing on what he says instead of man's tradition. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. We want to hear from you. We want to see, hear what God is doing in your life. Not only that, but we want to help you find a church. Find a group of people that you can get in and, 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 and be strengthened in, be fed in. They're out there. I promise you they're out there. Let me help you find a good Bible-believing church to get into. Glory to God. Partners, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all that you do. All that you sow into this ministry to make this possible, to make God's Word possible for it to go all over the world, for God's Word to be put out all over this world, to encourage people, to strengthen people, and most of all, to see people born again. You've got a part in that. I thank God for you. You have credit Put to your account every time a lost person is born again into the family of God through this ministry. For all that you sow into it, I thank you for all your faithful support. And if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about putting some finances into putting God's Word out there to hear His Word be put out all over the world to see people born into the family of God, strengthened in the truth of God. Glory to God in the highest. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.